What is up YouTube and welcome back to another video of the Universe Sim. This time doing 100 days, changing it up a bit. This is effectively season 7 but you know, not really a season. So 100 days, see how far we can get. Depending on if the video gets enough likes, let's say 25, I'll then do the additional 100 days and move on from there. Uh, if you want to play along, the settings are all normal on the traits and the disasters maxed, the wild animals maxed, exiles neutral and rapid creative points with a seed of 007. So into the world map, as always, looking for the largest body of water to start my settlement, or at least the epicenter. The largest body of water allows you to build up without worrying about draining it too fast of course the smaller the take a look at your water, new subject the more likely you are they're to called quickly. nuggets largely because of their body's apparent inability to keep itself in one piece adahi and elu the architects of their species they are the founders of everything that nuggets will ever know or achieve so for day zero, the only thing you can do is to start your research and get that kick in. They will, of course, build their first house themselves and the primitive tools will be learned automatically. For research, you want to go straight into water wheels and water flow study to allow you to have the water production, water pumps, and water storage, the wells, reservoirs, in order to survive your first winter. Technically, you can survive without it, but your nuggets will be poorly. They will get ill from drinking any of the sea or lake water. So concentrate your first bit of research directly into that water, then food. And then from sort of there, you can kind of play as you wish. But I've played this through a few times now and always seems to be quite coherent that you go for water and food first. Of course, it is a survival game after all. And then you can choose from there how you want to proceed, depending on how your playthrough goes. There are military <laughs> I just read that latest message. It's a real hoot. Oh, wait. Maybe they could actually use some help. There are no tricks or treats with this playthrough. It is just 100 days to see how far we can get, not making it any extra difficult for me, apart from the settings at the beginning. And that means that the quests, where possible, will be completed. I didn't think you knew anything about reproduction, creator. So with that said, we have now the first two, Adam and Elu, obviously breeding in their house. Not going to get too close to that. And then there are the babies that come out, always twins, and you have to name them. For this series, I'm going to name them 100 for one and days for the other, because why not? And then we'll jump ahead now and see oh, interesting things. Would you occur. look at that? A little baby nugget. Aren't they adorable when they're young? So on day three, finally researching the wheel, the water wheel, and the reservoir, allowing us to set up that first infrastructure that I mentioned. That's the critical one at the start of the game to make sure you are already storing that water for the winter you're looking freezes. a little weak creator yes, even though we're building this is quite a beautiful planet try not to reasons. ruin it will you also using telekinesis to pick up the trees and stones where possible to get the resources into the said buildings that we're building as we've got nothing else to do it also speeds up the beginning tricks the speed up the playthrough which is what i'm trying to achieve for 100 days and everybody is welcome to try and beat me if they so wish uh, the idea being that i pick up the sticks and rocks to build the buildings quicker of course you can't build them you can only supply the resources but in supplying the resources they just get to building that building instantly and then using the love spell to make your nuggets fall in love. The instant you force them to fall in love, they of course go back and mate for more children. Whether you get singular or whether you get twins is dependent, but you always get a singular child. So population booming is all about the love spell and for building acceleration, it's all about supplying the resources for them, especially at the beginning when it's just logs and rocks. 
days four or five, we're waiting for things to happen and collecting some of these magic boxes. The magic boxes are very useful at the beginning. In most cases, though, spoiler, they do nothing for me in this um, because you can get nuggets free nuggets are all from unique them. to one another. Although there are some things that are shared between nuggets, these include the need for certain essentials like food and water, a stable roof. Day seven, we are able to place down our fishing piers, allowing us to start our food production. The first food production, we're putting down two. I always put down two at the start because one will not be enough. And if you're gonna follow the same routine as me where you read your nuggets regularly to get your population to explode, you need to make sure you keep up with your water pumps, water reservoirs, and your fishing piers. Day 14 and the first fishing pier is completed, so populating somebody in there to work. Until the town hall is built, we have to do that manually. Just coming in to winter now. And as it hits, the lakes will freeze, your fishing piers will stop producing, the water pumps will start pumping, and your reservoirs will continue to run however you obviously won't get any additional fluids in them so you have to survive on what there is now luckily we did have an eatery built eateries produce food and liquids for them to drink and eat and are better i was than just water. about to compliment you on your fantastic new ice sculptures but then i realized those were just frozen nuggets and day 18 putting down our first engineer's huts allowing us to repair the buildings that have just started falling down due to the time we've been in the game and looking to be repairing them. Remember to spread them out well and cover every single building, otherwise they will collapse. Day 20, building some warehouses. Remember to spread them about. They are actually very good, although it doesn't really tell you, but they are very good if you're wanting to build quickly for storing goods, otherwise they end up scattered everywhere. Your nuggets are quite clever at using them as well, so make sure to place a few of them about, similar to how you would with your reservoirs for your water and your eateries for your foods. A tip I like to use, the first time I build an eatery, I always grab a animal like a bear or a mammoth with the telekinesis power and chuck it into the eatery, immediately giving it a boost of normal food and then the person working there, the nugget working there, will immediately start producing the better food. Lines on the screen you can see is me continuing to use my creator points where available to breed up. We are now on day 21 with 15 nuggets and one child, which is reasonably decent, but it will explode once we get to the 30s or so. Day 22 to day 35, skipped across because it was just waiting for all of these various different things to be built, inclusive the town hall as well has been finished and the tower there you can see allowing us to have our weather alerts. Now we have the town hall in place and somebody working in it, it means that all buildings we place from this point on will be auto populated. One hospital as well, I only ever build one hospital if I build any. In this playthrough there is one. I'm not likely to build anymore because I usually heal the nuggets myself. Cemeteries going down, of course. No one likes a rotting corpse left in their living room. So reservoirs and cemeteries are pertinent to be spread about to make sure that your nuggets are able to get to them when they need to. It is always good practice, though I haven't done it yet to make sure in the very center of town where you start you have a good three or four reservoirs because they will drain very quickly in the mid to late game and by that point you won't have any space to put any new ones research going down the middle up to farms now past the town hall you can see there the outskirts of the research not quite going to but we are going for mystery of agriculture there and we'll go for the ministry of water to allow us to actually auto populate the buildings that we need when we need them and it will give us something else we don't have to worry about. Day 38, putting down more eateries so that our nuggets can eat and drink the juices from there. This reduces the need and improves the efficiency of course then on the reservoirs because not as many of them need to use them. Spreading them about means that nuggets don't have to walk as far 
because if they do have to walk too far they will die and then making sure that the warehouses are spread out equally as two both for foods and natural resources it's a good idea to have a batch of them spread everywhere to make sure nobody has to go too far at any one point to move the stuff about couriers will come later to help you with that but that's much later and certainly not in the first 100 days so that's something that you need to allow them to do with their legs only i mean they don't have legs so However, the death of one does not necessarily mean the end of everything. It was simply their time to go. Don't blame yourself, creator. Well, unless you were actually responsible, I wasn't paying attention. And there you go, day 41, our first death of the Nuggets. Straight into the cemetery to be cremated though, so our process is working nicely. And as it stands, we've built mostly on the desert for now. Remember, though, to keep an eye on your Nuggets building residential. If you don't use the spell to tell them where to dig, they'll build all over the place. And they still need a engineer's hook to keep their houses standing. Day 46, finally have our farms. Putting three of those down, all of which we'll use for food right now. We're not going to worry about farms and herbs until we get the ranches later on so just chucking down there three farms all in grassland which is nice and easy for the diarrhea fruit to allow us to have plenty of food along with the fish remember though both of those do not work in winter and at day 50 halfway there 68 adults 15 children and getting the farms up and running now they are completed everything's looking good everyone is happy there is no crime so let's continue for another 50 days and see how much further we can get day 51 just going around making sure i have reservoirs spread out as i need them along with the engineer's huts and then finally cemeteries of course you will need to pay attention to warehouses and eateries as well, but the critical ones are cemeteries and warehouses and engineers, but not necessarily in that order. ...is prepared for a wolf attack, creator, Day because there's one... Wolf attack incoming is our second, actually. Missed the first. ...happening right now. Day 68 now, allowing the buildings that we placed down to complete loads of warehouses and reservoirs, cemeteries, etc. Research has been progressing as normal. I mean, it's time-based, so you can't really speed that up. It is what it is. The time it takes to do the research is a fixed entity. In yet another winter, and you can see over here in the middle of absolutely nowhere, we have some residential houses all by themselves and this is what I am warning you about so you need to make sure you keep up with those and now I'm going to chuck down an engineer's hut which will keep them standing and I'll also chuck in a reservoir to make sure they have easy access to water if they are at home it's given a warning that we're near an exile camp there is one on the other side of the water but I don't care because if they do decide to attack me we can easily wipe them out they're no trouble whatsoever and you can see just looking at that actually in the background all the reservoirs that are planted out so when I say spread them out, I mean spread them out. And there they are, just a blue settlement. No dramas. I don't expect them to do too much damage. Day 73 and in two schools now. Now these can be put all together. It does work. I've tried it. But also spreading them out seems to work better. It's definitely more efficient. So make sure that you do so. Remember that schools give you your creator points down in the bottom, your yellow creator points, but also it gives your nuggets the education that they require in order to use and perceive all the buildings in the ages following for modern age, etc. So without education, you won't be able to get very far in the game. So schools are very important. Spreading them around nicely 
to make sure everybody can access them. Each school can only educate four nuggets at any one time with one teacher. First upgrade showing up on day 75 and that is to use our bricks and process wood that we already have in order to upgrade the fishing piers. From there it will go on to the pumps, the water pumps and the reservoirs will be the next things upgraded as well. Mining acquired on day 82 allowing us to mine for iron which is the third and final of the three items you require for the medieval items. Both wood planks, bricks and iron bars are your medieval resources. Making sure to place them as best I can in areas where it is light pale blue. That is where the resource is the richest. But of course that's usually on a hill like it is here so it doesn't give me anywhere to place it. Find another spot though, you will get there in the end and any of the resources that are below it when you place it will be moved anyway. The trees, rocks, etc. Your nuggets will move before they build. That's a good stat there, 1800 iron from that one and another 16 from there. Though they are sharing the resources but it will be quicker because there's two working at it. And then going into the quest to wipe out the giant tentacle that gives us the expedition camp. And on day 91, the expedition camp is completed. Not going to send anyone yet because we don't have enough spare nuggets. In fact, we're going to get a warning very soon saying that we're running out of nuggets because we're building faster than we're breeding, it seems. The iron mine, of course, is kicking off. We've got an income in there and that warning there. No unassigned workers means that we've actually got not enough people for the amount of buildings we require to stock. Even though the town hall is set to 90%, that leaves 10% to be labourers, we don't have enough. So the quick fix for that is to get them breeding ASAP. So what we need to do is wait for our creator points to build up a little bit, and then we'll get everybody breeding. Pay attention, 121 people, 8 children. And now day 95, 129 people, but 25 children on the way. So the population is increasing nicely. Plenty of storage, water as well, including drinkable. 129 eatable food, cooked food, which is really good actually for this stage of the game. The expedition camp there is still standing. I'm using the stats there on the top right hand corner to show me how many laborers I have. 16 uneducated, two educated. That gives me an idea of how we are and where we're at with stocks. By stocks, I mean nuggets. Day 99 and the glass factory finally goes down, allowing us to make, well, glass using gas. Hard to say. With the completion of your first factory, I look forward to seeing nuggets become cogs in an eternal machine. And as we move into day 100, we are doing quite well in terms of progression up to the glass factory area now. Although not built yet, it will be soon. Gas, metal, herbs, bricks, planks, stone and wood all coming in nicely. 146 adult nuggets, seven children and 153 believers, which is the math says all of them. So we're looking good. There is a volcano on the horizon. So that will be hitting us shortly. But to see that, we'll have to do days 100 to 200. If you like the video, please click like. I'm looking for a 20 likes to do an additional 100. So please do share and like if you do. Again, thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.